is your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, the actual air temperature next couple of days running well below average, but then you couple it with strong gusty wind. It feels colder. That's the wind chill and running at times uh, well below zero through at least Saturday. Now these winds that are picking up are dry, so there's no precipitation after uh, some snow showers and flurries this morning and this afternoon that has moved out. Still some lingering snow showers out towards the Cape, but otherwise quiet temperatures now range from the upper teens to around 20, but it continues to fall and eventually the actual air temperature getting down into the single digits overnight and early tomorrow morning. So these bitter wind chills will continue now through at least Saturday morning, every now and then in the range of 5 to 15 degrees below zero. And overall, it's a dry weekend. Slight chance of a snow shower tomorrow, dry Saturday and Sunday. Then all eyes on a storm potential for early next week around Monday and Tuesday. We'll show you that in the seven day forecast. The back edge of some snow pulling away uh, from Cape Cod. What will happen for several hours tomorrow, especially during the afternoon? A brief bout of very heavy snow confined essentially to the Cape only where there's actually a winter storm watch it may pick up several inches of snow elsewhere. We're not expecting any kind of a, an acute accumulation other than maybe a passing snow shower. So here's the wider view. Now there's a big ocean storm strong and intensifying. You can see it spinning right in here. Of course, this is staying well out at sea, but it's so strong and the wind circulation around it uh, counterclockwise is so broad that our winds are, are picking up here. And what it will do is it'll actually help to drag down some of this colder air up through uh, upstate New York and southeastern Canada. It's starting to work in right now. So this area shaded in purple and gray and white. This is the Arctic air that'll be dropping down next 24 hours. So we set this into motion next 24 hours. And here we go and watch these numbers tumble again, not wind chill, but actual air temperatures, single digits tomorrow morning. We should be 38 degrees this time of year in the afternoon, only 15 uh, by tomorrow evening and cold again tomorrow night and through Saturday. Let me step you through it hour by hour. And again, these numbers are actual air temperatures. Uh, the wind dial showing the increasing wind speeds. Here we are tomorrow morning starting off in the single digits. Watch what happens for a few hours tomorrow afternoon in the Cape. So a brief bout of some heavy snow further to the west, a few scattered snow showers. We may catch a snow shower here and then it clears out again later tomorrow evening. Tomorrow night sets up another frigid Friday night still. Uh, very windy with those wind chills. Several inches of snow, perhaps two to four inches confined to the Cape only. There may be a dusting or a coating from Taunton to New Bedford to Plymouth and then further to the west in our area. It's dry. There may be a passing snow shower. So for your Friday morning, again, these are actual air temperatures only in the teens, sunny, windy and frigid. And then during the afternoon hours, we never even make it to 20 degrees. It's in the upper teens, slight, slight chance of a passing snow shower, partly cloudy, windy and frigid. That will continue into uh, Friday. Friday night and through Saturday, sunny, windy and cold, not quite as frigid Sunday afternoon, and then all eyes on the Monday, Tuesday time frame with a coastal storm. Whether or not it's something significant or minor in terms of accumulation, still too early to call, but certainly worth watching Mike and Shannon as far as the potential for some accumulations. In the meantime, the wind chills the big weather story over the next roughly uh, 48 hours. All right, Tony, thanks. Paleontology